Yes, as the moon comes over the mountain, it's time for another exciting episode of Poet the Poet, and I'm Robert Dunn, and uh, the man in the moon, and uh, among other things, and uh, I present to you two, well, they're not lunar guests, but they are stellar guests. Uh, we have, all the way from uh, Hungary, we have Gabor over here, and in the far corner, in the red and white tights, we have Jay Chalik. Um, who is a classicist and artist and all other kinds of fun things. But we're going to start with Gabor because he has a lot of ground to cover because he covers it in many languages. Uh, he's been living in the United States since 1988. He writes poetry in English, which is his second language, and in Hungarian, which is, I believe, your first language. That's right. Um, sometimes the same poem goes back and forth uh, between the two. And um, you do prose and uh, plays as well. Uh, you've been published a couple of times. Um, let's see, the Rain City Review, the the Big Spoon, uh, Adobe Anthology, and Cups. Cups. And uh, he's looking forward to everybody's answer. Oh, sorry, <laughs> shouldn't have read that part. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Poet the Poet. And uh, how about a little poem? Okay. Start with <clears throat> Feastless Head in the Sand. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got an accent for the others. A smile with no thought behind it. Disguised handshakes with our, that are exchanging sweat, dirt, and grease. The labyrinth of untuned ears that are filled with wax of indifference. Searching eyes of excuses, embarrassed cups, uncertain answers of yes and no. Sharp questions of fake interest. A silent curse is hiding inside the fog of masquerade. The urge to disappear is rising. But the route of escape is nowhere to be seen, because the lack of bravery and honesty covers the view. No way out, or is there? We all need a facelift nowadays. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Um, a while back, I was talking to a, a Bulgarian poet by the name of Vladimir Levchev, who was describing what he had to do to get out of poetry magazine in Bulgaria when it was banned. And I was wondering if anybody had ever given you a hard time over your poems. Not in Hungary. I hardly been published in Hungary. Oh, you had to come here for that, huh? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so what have we been doing to you in the U.S. since you got here and started doing poems? <laughs> well, they let me write poems. Uh -huh. And sometimes they like my poems and they publish them. Oh, not, yeah. not very often, but, well, you know, you need patience. That, that, that's a relief. Well, yeah. Here now, now they're being broadcast, so uh, let's broadcast <laughs> another one, shall we? <clears throat> Don't let me shout when all I want is to whisper. No more cigarettes left. No more Etruscan letters. The Tiber and the Arno wash them all back to the beginning of poisonous weeds and dragons. The last glass of white wine running down in our throat. The mailman is dead on a heap of envelopes. Coffee stain decorates his tongue, sticking out of his dried mouth. Black ravens in armor f are flying above us, salivating tea drops, croaking, cursing the blindness of humans. Plato, Berkeley, and Wittgenstein had spoken to the deaf who nod in misunderstanding, for they thought they were hearing the words. There is no language on earth today we can interpret truly. One truth avoids another instead of searching for bridges. Abolish the camouflaged earwax, the unruly eye patches. Breathe with both of your lungs. You are the tree, the bush, the grass that will have to clear the air. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm curious. Um, uh, you mentioned we we uh, touched on the fact that you also write plays, and yes. um, I was wondering uh, what plays have you written? Have any gotten to the performance stage yet? Uh, I just wrote only one play mm -hmm. very recently, mm -hmm. and uh, I just have a poem yeah. that is kind of the uh, preface for that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the play is called The Naked Statue. Uh -huh. It's based on a real life experience, and uh, <clears throat> I just finished it. It's only 15 pages long, mm -hmm. since it's my first. Okay. I thought I couldn't write more than well, that. Well, there's a place for short subjects, too. <laughs> <laughs> the Naked Statue. An abundant smile lies in the mirror of the lake. 
white teeth plop and sink in the water. He stands on a column, the naked statue, with whitewashed limbs and milk-white body, wearily looks around to see two contrasted couples. Elderly Asians, the camera flashes, they bow, they bow and depart. Young actors of practicing gestures, silent verbality, elbows akimbo as they walk away. The statue changes his posture, an invisible move. Mm. An old man takes notice as he enters the park to rest, sits on a concrete bench. Horses knee with blinded eyes. The old man falls asleep. The naked statue, after centuries gone by, finally decides to leave his post. There is nothing else to left to guard. Mm. And did the statue have a speaking role in the play? No. The statue is a, as, uh, mm. as a matter of fact, it's a Bhutto dancer. Uh -huh. So it's practically naked and white. We, we, get, we gathered, yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, but he reacts for the dialogues. I think I may have seen him featured on the Upper West Side one night, but that's, a, <laughs> but that's quite another story. How are you doing, Jay? Are you, uh, well, are you getting you. inspired? I certainly am. And I saw you making notes there a moment ago. <laughs> um, Gabor, I would uh, like to get the opportunity to uh, uh, have a bilingual poem or two. Okay. Well, I read a um, few in, in English first mm -hmm. and then in Hungarian. The first one is called In Vain. With my previously convicted left hand, I'm looking for my father and my mother in my pocket. I drag them out and put them into my other pocket, but they fall back. They don't like that climate. Hmm. And in Hungarian, hiába. Robot múltú bal kezemmel keresem a zsebemben anyám és apám. Előveszem és beteszem őket a másik zsebembe, de visszahullanak. Nem bírják ezt a klímát. Mm. <coughs> What if I write? Oh, I can stand it. Go ahead. <laughs> the last smile. My curses are flying as your, ace, as, as your face erodes with tears. Your splashing smile undresses my teeth. Like rare feelings, smeared sentences, this stern moment, this motion, a pale crocus is carrying distances. I catch your smile, dying spiderweb, beneath the half-winged fly. Az utolsó mosoly. Szitkaim rebbennek szerteszét, és mardosom arcodat könnyen át. Fröccsenő mosolyú, vetköző fogait pihéjén, mint ritka érzület, szétmosódó ítélet, e fordított pillanat, e mozzanat, a sápadó hóvirág véghez visz távokat. Megmosom, meg, megfogom mosolyot haldokló pókháló, félszárnyú légy alól. Mm -hmm. Speaking of webs, I realized uh, that I was remiss in not mentioning. Do you know where we are tonight? We're in the vault, the Queen's Village oh. vault, uh, which is this wild performance space run by Tony Belize. And uh, they do shows primarily Mondays and Fridays and um, are on Springfield Boulevard. And it's one of those wild places that uh, is getting to the point where they can uh, show Manhattan a thing or two. Anyway, uh, I wanted to just get that in. And uh, also, I want you to continue showing us a thing or two <coughs> and uh, give us another poem. Okay. I'll read one more in English and in Hungarian. Okay. It's called The Morning. With the brush comes the leather for the face in the morning. Dark shadows around my refreshed eyes. The smoke, the fog, the smile of the baker all stick to me. I'm not able to remove the vomiting, struggling smell of a drunkard. I let, I let my beard grow. Reggel. Pamacsal az arcra reggel hab kerül. Frissülő szemem alatt a karikák, Rám ragad a füst, a köd, a zaj, a pékmosolya. Nem tudom magamtól eltávolítani a hányó, küszködő részek szagát, szakát neveztek. Mm -hmm. Gabor, do you find that having come from Hungary to America has uh, altered your approach to poetry? Uh, to tell you the truth, I have never written poetry in Hungary. I studied when I left. Uh -huh. Actually, that's about the most extreme change. 
yes. that you could imagine. Yes. <laughs> when you come right down to it, all right, let's slip another poem in. It's called The Fly. Mm -hmm. A sad bird froze to the neighbor's windshield. Its snow stuffed body, hail picking beak, and sickle stiff claws shattered the safety glass into no recyclable trash. The swearing neighbor kicked the ice winged carcass, broke it in half, gathered the pieces, and threw them up to the winter air. Fly, he screamed. Fly, he screamed, raging cold blooded at the scene of the scheme. Not seeing, as the two half birds came to life and rose to fall, one winged, wedged into his reddening eyes. You faked me out too. When uh, when I heard the title, I thought it was going to be a sequel to the Spider Webs. No, it's not. Um, it's what, not flying. What are you hoping for in your literary future? I'm submitting and submitting and yeah. and now uh, mm -hmm. putting my manuscript manuscript together and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. trying to get uh, published. You know, in a book mm -hmm. format finally. Uh -huh. Uh, I just finished the translation, uh, yeah. uh, Hung mm -hmm. Hungarian contemporary literature, uh, mm -hmm. poetry, yeah. with Michael mm -hmm. Castro, a St. Louis based poet, mm -hmm. and uh, 27 Hungarian poets and 100 poems in English. Mm -hmm. The manuscript is ready, we are mm -hmm. sending it out for mm -hmm. publishers. And um, do you have a signature piece that we can put out here for all the publishers who may be listening? No, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. Well, what do you have in there? Another poem by <laughs> myself. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. sort of what I was hoping for. But <clears throat> well, since it's very hot in here, mm -hmm. I, I read a cold poem. Ah. Snail on ice. In a cold room, on a cold bed, under a cold blanket, the body is cold. The light is cold, the night is cold, the moon is cold, the grass and the tree are cold, the earth is cold and it smells too. The sun is cold, the breath is cold under the water, the sky is cold, the cloud is cold and the flash of lightning too. The meat is cold in the cold soup, the girl is cold, the desire is cold, the word flax, cold wedged beneath the stone, the blood is cold, the mind is cold, the music is cold, and the picture and the hieroglyph too. The hot tea is cold, the flower is cold, the bird is cold, the bee is cold, and the may mayfly too. In the cold, cold sculpture stop movement. The sweltering heat is cold, the time is cold, the brain is cold, the asking eyes of a beggar are cold, cold running through my throat. My lungs are cold and tremble, my legs are cold and I can't go. In the cold I stand lying, or I lie standing, I don't know in the cold, in the cold. Everything is frozen. Mm, in honor of the Olympics, that's really going for the cold. And before we, before we pass on to Jay Chalik Gabor, I was wondering if you had one little one one little that one? we could end on. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's see. In the great tradition of <laughs> the paper shuffling, yes. Of yes. Joseph Conrad and yeah. I, <clears throat> mm -hmm. I have one called Love. Okay. On a couch, the girl is sitting. Beside her, the boy with a beer in his hand. He drinks sometimes. The girl watches him, blinks if her mood agrees. The couch squeaks. It's hungry for sweating bodies, which won't crush its cushions today. The boy already drunk, the girl asleep. The couch fumes and then switches toward the wall. Mm, sounds like home. Well, thank you, Gabor, for coming on Poet the Poet, and we'll thank be back in much. a moment with Jay Chalik. Don't go away now. <laughs>